Testimony tonight, please raise your right hand. Share, tell truth, tell the truth, and ask before this board tonight under penalties of perjury. I do, I do. Thank you. Um, uh, we have an application by Josh of Wimps Fitzhugh. Uh, Josh, you want to tell us what it's about, or is it kind of as you're talking? Um, I'll introduce it, and then Gunnar can do the technical stuff. I'm, first of all, it's a little unusual to be here on this side of the house. I'm quite used to being here. So. So we own um, about a 400-acre parcel, and we've owned that for about 15 years. And with this, this, um, this plan ahead of you, or to show you, is, is the subdivision of one of the parcels that we, it's actually, the, the, what we own is in three separate parcels. Uh, this is the largest of the, of the um, three parcels we own. And we want to subdivide that to create a hundred, basically a 100-acre lot that would go along um, Bacardi Road, Running in a north-south direction, um, with, the, with the intention of building a, a, um, a garage with a with a living unit in it, and eventually a house on that site that we've <coughs> identified. It's a, it's a piece of that land that is um, rocky, um, not suitable for haying and or farming. Which is the, we want to keep the farmland open as much as possible, and um, so that's what the goal is. Initially, we had thought about um, a year ago under the old zoning bylaw of creating only a two lot, a two acre subdivision um, with, a, with a driveway to it, but it would be an interior lot and because of when the zoning ordinance was changed, it became more difficult and maybe impossible to do it that way. So we decided, well, we'll just create, we'll just, for the time being, we'll just make 100 acres on the whole thing. So that's the, that's the overall um, goal of what we're doing. Okay, um, Mr. Zoning Administrator, any comments? No, this is uh, just, it is in the uh, R40 Rural uh, 40 District, which requires 40,000 square feet. Uh, and this is obviously more than 40,000 square feet for the lot. Okay, I should have asked this question first. We have a number of people here in the audience. Um, does anybody here request party status? I don't know what that means. <laughs> you don't know what that means? Don't know what that means? Okay. It, 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 party status uh, to a hearing allows you to um, ask questions, although you can't ask questions anyway. But if, in, if you request party status to grant a party status, um, then you have the right to appeal a decision of this board. Oh. If you I have, don't think we need to do that, Tom. <laughs> okay. Um, no. Okay, no days, request party status, okay. Uh, party status is typically granted for budding property owners. Um, there are other criteria that also include, but people are talking about budding property owners here. So, uh, okay, nobody's requesting party status? Very good. Um, so, let's go through the development review criteria. And I know that, you, uh, Gunnar, you have addressed these. Yes. Um, in, uh, in text form. Uh, First criteria is the capacity of the community facilities and utilities. Right, the additional, we're only adding one house, one driveway, um, and there will really be no significant impact on any of the community facilities capacities based on the addition of one house in the area. Question by board members on this? Comments I, by the zoning administrator? I did receive uh, letters from the letter. Chief Wolf. Chief Dufresne, and I didn't receive a letter from um, Tim Davis Road Foreman, but all of them stated that um, they really had uh, a nominal concern. One concern from Chief Dufresne is um, I only see a slight problem in that is uh, the turn radius of the proposed driveway. Uh, if it could be widened that way, we can get our bigger truck in and out of there and we could do so easily. Other than that, it looks fine. So is that the radius 
here. That's on the, if you look on the site plan piece, it would be this down here. Turning okay, in here. right. So I would know just... there, there's a glitch on the, on the survey map in that corner. There's oh. extra lines that shouldn't have appeared. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that until okay. today. This map is the one that would show that. He'd be referring to this radius coming in turning yeah. up there. Um, we would report that they had a well driller in there uh, earlier this week to drill the well for the site. We've already received the state water and sewer permit for this. Uh, and the well rig was able to make that corner, Josh indicates, without a problem, really. Um, so if the board wants us to do something there, we certainly can. If you would like to attach a condition that we widen that radius by you know, widening the road down there a little bit at the bottom, that can certainly happen. Um, but like I said, as I would report, Josh says that well rig went in there, made that corner, um, didn't have a problem. And i got to believe that's as big as most fire trucks you're going to see going on. So, What is, what is the turning radius? I, I don't know what the number is off the top of my head. Um, I did not. Yeah, it no doesn't, show, it doesn't show on the plan. Nope. So I don't know what that is. This is a, this the, basically this driveway tracks what had been a uh, or is a farm access road, and uh, we improved it by putting some stone in it. And but do that, we talked to the town um, um, road, foreman. road foreman, and we uh, he looked at it and he suggested that we increase the size, the length of the culvert that's at the. Um, at the uh, McCarty Road, and so we, through the through the auspices of the town, we bought two culverts, um, which are I think 18-inch um, culverts, and they're two of them together, which 40 feet, so it's a 40-foot entrance way to that bend. So it's an easy, much easier to make that corner because it's not well, it'd be less than 40 feet because the culvert's 40 feet. Road tapers up, right. so okay, yeah. so I get to, yeah, 35. <laughs> That's a, that's a pretty, that's, you know, I mean, typically 20 feet is uh, enough, so that, yeah. that should be enough to allow a truck to swing through there. Well, as I say, the, the, the well, the Benedini's didn't have a problem bringing his drilling rig through there. Benedini took his drilling rig behind my house. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can go anywhere on that. You must go anywhere. It wasn't pretty, but, <laughs> but they made it. You got it there. Um, Did the fire chief say how much they no. no. <clears throat> and he was looking at a, a drawing without yeah. without having you know radius on it. So I think it was for dis your discussion, make sure that you're comfortable with it and I'm assuming you have a sharp turning radius like that so that you take advantage of the grades. Yeah. The alternative if we had gone we looked at initially having a, a straight shot. Mm -hmm. um, right to T bone, I guess you could say McCarty Road, but right. it would it's require a lot of blasting. And um, the, the Wilcoxes who live at the end of the road didn't really want that to, the blasting to be done right there. And, and they, it had been always this access road was uh, reserved on a right of as a right of way when we we sold the property to Dave and Les, and um, there was reference in the, the survey map to a. 50 foot right of way uh, over that spot, but it had never been perfected. So, uh, in terms of discussing this with Dave and Les, that we've perfected that. There's an there's an easement deed going back to cover that, but they they prefer to have that as opposed to going through the you know do the blasting and cutting through some some stone to make it. So that access is actually going to be a right, deeded right of way. Yeah, it's not on your property. That's no. being it's off it's off, off your property. Yeah. yeah. So there will be a there will be a deed there will be a yes you know, there'll be an easement there easement. For, for well it's a triangular easement at right. the widest point about 50 feet wide um, and that'll be referenced on the mine alarm yes it, it's referenced here um, any questions okay the um, suitability of the land section 305. That land is quite suitable, as Josh pointed out, and as you can see on the site plan, um, this is a, a clump of trees around in here, um, and because this area is not very good for agriculture, so that's where the house would go in the least desirable part for farming, um, but that part that is least desirable for farming is very suitable for a home. So it's a relatively flat site, some gentle slopes around it, um, access to an in-ground leach field, which is out 
Well, that drifted on that plan um, to the side of the house. Um, and, and really, it's a, it's a pretty easy site to work. Very suitable for what's being proposed. And because of the, we're removing some of the trees in that, in that, the, on the edge of that clearing, but most of the trees will stay. So it's isolated, so it's, it's, you don't really even notice that there's a house there. Questions, comments? Hearing none, um, design and configuration of the parcel boundaries. What does it say? A lot of arrangement, following plan, plan settlement pattern, next existing roads. Um, do you have a comment on that? Well, I um, oh, oh, go ahead. Well, I just had a question, but you go we, ahead. We do depict the building envelope. It's yeah. that little square up there. It's labeled as such a building envelope. Um, the, you know, we have a very large piece of land here. We took what is the existing edge boundary of this portion of lot two and just sort of connect, extended it more or less straight out over to here, which made for really more regularly shaped parcels than what the existing piece is. Um, so really we're taking one piece that's quite irregular and making two somewhat more regular pieces out of it. Uh, and with the size of these parcels, obviously there's, there's a lot of room for everything. So the configuration of the lots is such that they will continue to have agricultural potential, um, they could, and as well as supporting the home site. What about wildlife? Because it's very wooded here. Uh, no, that's mostly open. There's a little bit of trees around that house site. Um, the well, no, it looks very, when I drove up here, it looks um, pretty wooded, right? As, there's some woods in here. Yeah, but then, okay, um, I didn't this, go down this This point. is, well, this is all, well, I don't know how far back it's open. Yeah. I think it's open to about okay. here, I would say, within, what, about three or 400 feet of that town line. Um, and this is all open land. It's open out through here. There's some woods along here, yeah. open out through here. Okay, so this is pretty... Um, there is, it's, it's yeah. way more open than wooded in those okay. areas. Okay, okay. Yeah. But you're not actually going into the woods. Then. No, you're there's a, a sort of a little island of trees yeah. out there in yeah. the middle. That's okay. what we're dealing with. And access to lot number one in the future will be off of West Hill Road. Yeah, it's got about 3,500 feet of frontage. Yeah. So we think that'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Questions? Um, and if anyone in the audience has questions or comments, uh, just raise your hand after we hear from the board members and I'll entertain any other questions. Um, Lot dimensions. Uh, More than meeting the requirements of the, of the you know, which, which are 40,000 square foot, 100 acres, I think amounts to about 4 million square feet. <laughs> um, so I think we're okay. And every, everything is way bigger than it needs to be, Bob, basically. Yeah. Uh, we just look, it would appear to me that you meet all the standards mm -hmm. of lot dimensions. There are seven of them. I have to read them because it's all new to us. Sure, sure. I should open this page of the book too, probably. Um, building envelope, and you show the building envelope. Yeah. 364. We do? Mm -hmm. 364. Oh, thank you. And there's no building envelope on the second, on actually the second, I say the first, lot one, because there's no intent. There's no proposed building at this point on lot one, correct? No. I take it that lot one is perkable. I mean, is that test been tested? Um, I don't know that we tested on lot one. We may have tested in one area on lot one. Yeah. I would, I would, I mean, I'd never guarantee anything, but I would be awfully <laughs> surprised if we couldn't okay. find a site on 100 and Yeah, I acres. would be too, but I um, just. Yeah, I, and I think we did, was that the one we tested up in the back corner of that, yeah. Josh? Yeah, we did do some testing up there, mm -hmm. uh, and we did find a site that was usable, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, excuse me, I'm sort of refreshing my memory of what these criteria are, but design and layout of necessary improvements, and it talks about streetscape, and it really is, is a criteria more intended for multiple lot subdivisions, smaller yeah. ones, it's, you know, streetscapes yeah. and that kind of stuff. So, um, my sense is that's not really applicable. Everybody agree? Yep. Okay. Um, that also speaks to, I believe part of that includes um, 
bicycle pedestrian yes. facility, yeah. each <laughs> water and wastewater facilities. Yep. Speaking Private of water and wastewater, it's going to be on permit. site. Yeah. Yeah. We have that permit already. Firefighting facilities. Again, we're, we're looking at mm -hmm. multi lot subdivisions, mm -hmm. small, large lots. I have another question. Are you going to be off the grid, or I don't know what the. No, we're going to have power brought from McCarty Road to the site. Okay, um, so it's where it's already existing up, up, up McCarty Road. Road. Okay, so there's there's already one, okay. one residence out there? Yeah, there's one residence at the end of okay. the Okay. Again, I, I think that whole 30505 30, is mm -hmm. not affordable. Um, but you do have some text here at 4055. And yes. We'll accept mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Um, 30506, character of the area and the settlement pattern. The project is consistent with the settlement pattern in the area, which are basically rural residential development homes on relatively larger parcels of land, yeah. um, which is what this is. Yeah. Very consistent. And um, soil preservation? Uh, yeah, the, again, we're minimizing um, the development area. We have a one acre building envelope. Uh, we put that on the least valuable ag soils as we've already discussed. Um, they will be doing erosion controls when they get up there to start doing that work um, using the low risk handbook, which is a fairly standard erosion control techniques that are fairly simple, simple to implement. Uh, and we do not anticipate any problems with preserving the soil capabilities. And our last criteria is conformance with these reg regulations. And the project is in conformance with all of the public provisions of the regulations. And do you agree with that, Mr. Zoning Administrator? I do. Unless I'm missing something, there are no additional criteria. Does anybody have any additional questions for the applicant? No. Board members, zoning administrator, mm -hmm. did you have any additional testimony you want to provide? Just to point out that we did request for uh, combining preliminary and final hearings. I assume that's what we're doing tonight. Just to make sure we haven't talked about it. Just wanted to verify that. It was way it was one. Okay, thank you. Um, and. Um, uh, one thing we didn't talk about, uh, but I, I think you've covered it already, and you already have approval for the curb cut, the yes. select board? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. As I noted in your language, it was, it's a pre-existing access, but that doesn't mean approval of the curb cut. There was, was, <laughs> was an approval granted. Okay. That came back in. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that was about the only concern I had, frankly. <laughs> yeah. um, well, uh, anybody have any questions, comments? If not... Yes. I was wondering about noise. Are we going to have to be quieter than we normally are? Because <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I know from there, over that side of the hill to our house, the noise is, you know, quite... It's very nicely. So we don't nicely. want you to hear our dogs barking out <laughs> So I was wondering if that was in consideration or... Um. I don't know how I loud. All that there's a specific noise criteria in here at all. Um, Are you concerned that we'll hear you or you'll hear us? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> both goes both ways. I think it's. I I, haven't, I I I did notice when I was up there. I guess a day or so that I could hear things from Dave's and Les's house, which isn't too far away. But I don't hear anything coming from West Hill Road because there's so much forest land between us and. I mean, where the site is and where your house is, and I don't think there's going to be much. Well, we don't hear the hay. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, if you go in there for construction, we will hear that, but that's not a big deal. Oh, yeah. It won't go on very long. No, yeah. you're just going to put it up and be done with right, it, you know. Right, right. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you live where? We live at 762 West Hill. It's almost directly across the, the, uh, the West valley. Hill Road oh, okay. on the other side. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we've Ron, been Ron and Dee, when they first moved there, there was you could look from their house across the valley, up all the way up the hill because there weren't any trees there. Right, because <laughs> it's all pasture. Oh, it's all perfect. pasture now. These pasture trees and hay fields, they can wow. see everything yeah, up there. Huh? We've been there 49 years. Wow. wow. 
I've seen a lot of a lot of growth. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, when you moved there, wasn't the road? Didn't the road still have grass in the middle? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> seriously. Yeah. Yeah. It was class four, just another house just above us. Yeah. 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 Any other questions? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Dave Huber. I, I live at 623, uh, right at the edge of McCarty and West. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh. Nice, nice, to yeah, meet nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. And I, I, I'm here because I didn't, I didn't really know anything about this project. Sure. Yeah. I just right, noticed right. that there was uh, increased traffic going up McCarty Road. Yeah. I, I had no idea. Yeah. Um, you know, what's, what do you anticipate the traffic to? to be like well there. The, the, the building that we're the first, the first building we're intending to put up is a garage that would have a two, two car garage with a living unit associated with it and we will be there um, periodically but not full time okay. so there will be very little traffic um, okay. additional now, you've seen some more traffic because there's been work on that road so there's, there's been a lot of construction the town trucks there recently yeah. Yeah, um, which, which, yeah, I definitely noticed that. Right. That's, right. that's welcome. Uh, right. Yeah. I, I just mean because the, I saw some gravel trucks going up that road. And I wasn't yeah, that was going to put the driveway. Yeah. In. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. And my noise doesn't bother you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're very nice. Do you, own, do, you, do you own that house or is it, or you rent it? I've, yeah, I've owned that for oh. uh, a little over a year now. My wife and I. Have okay, good. That's good. good. I didn't know that because I. It used That's to be a rental, one. so we're glad, I, to, so have, we heard. We're glad yeah. to have real, right. yeah. real neighbors. Right. So, so Dave, you could ride to the Norwich games together because they're Norwich fans as well. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Right. Right. Any other questions I have, you know, yeah, we'll we'll talk outside of both. Sure. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And, nice and to meet welcome you to the, you know, sorry, I had we know most people up the road from there, but not too, not too many people below West Hill from there where you are. Oh, no. We know the sands across yeah, the street. After they yeah. met us, they decided not to come down. <laughs> yeah. <there. laughs> yeah. If there are no further comments or questions, I would have made a motion to close this hearing. So moved. Uh, second. Motion made and second. Is there discussion on that motion? All in favor of that motion, please signify by saying aye. Aye. And this hearing is closed officially. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> That being Thank the only you. business that we have for the night. Yes. Uh, no. 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 I just realized that I was looking you know, at I was on Zillow and I was telling you guys, I just realized that was your house that I was looking at. That's one of the reasons for this. Maybe why you didn't show up. So, where do you live now? We live on that, well, across the street from where that apartment one is. Yeah. Okay, up west. So. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cider press. So we do have a, it's a farm, it's got a house, it's a garage, and it's a, yeah, of course. a barn it's, with three uh, hay wagons in it. Wow. So yeah. we're looking for someone who's interested in buying the house, plus uh, 300 of acres. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a really lovely area. I, yeah. I drove up, I, I'm fairly new to Berlin, so yeah. I drove there past the horse stables with a right. <laughs> on Chandler. Right. Yeah, yeah. Which, which parcel is the one JD used to have? Uh, it's, it's, right. it's at the end of Eastern Road. So, yes, I don't know if there's a number on it. Yeah. 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 yeah, it is a, it is a pretty sure. special area, which yeah. is why we're trying to keep it that way, too. So. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. hopefully, we can find you. someone who's oh, interested in it. Doing what we build on the land, I'll make you really happy because it used to be a dairy farm and then it was a, it, for years it was horrible and nothing happened at all. So now we brought it back. Wow. There's no dairy cattle there, but it's. But yeah. at least the, field, the fields are being mowed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. It's good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny. Okay, the. Um, uh, Next order of business we have is the minutes of the meeting of August 20th. Nice to meet you. Anybody have any comments on those minutes? I did have some. I've sent them out. Um, I wasn't. I don't think I was. What did we do? Well, it was, uh, we, we closed, we closed the, uh, the, the, uh, 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 the, uh,
no, continuation of the um, yeah, uh, decision of the zoning administrator. All the time, and then we also had Edwards, Edgewood Development. Oh, that's right, right, right. right. So um, which was not, not an insignificant uh -huh. little project. Um, I had some edits to um, uh, uh, comments here, uh, just yeah. big truck traffic, I said vehicle, no. and stuff like that. And I've set these out here. I don't think any of material. The only question I had was, there's reference to a new 21-inch culvert to be installed uh, under the yeah, access. The bear, more on, uh, and yeah, that's, true. that's an unusual size for a culvert yeah. for an access road. Yeah. Hmm. And I wasn't sure how certain you were that you were or where you got that far track was in the road. Uh, last summer. Not, I, do, do you know? know? I, I think it's actually <laughs> on the plan itself. <laughs> no. No. I look at the plan. But I remember the number 21 was so thrown out there. Um, I think the, the reference to 21 is the culvert that crosses I think it Airport is Road. Airport I think Road, it correct. Is too. This, is not, this is not the, this, yeah. this is making reference to a culvert to the, under the driveway. The driveway. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I, I, if I wager, it's probably an 18 inch culvert. I would, I would, yeah. And um, I was wondering if you could confirm that for me. Uh, I'm sure that, that, that the, uh, that, that's a new access, so it had to be approved by Tim. So he's probably can tell us what the color size is. You would just give us that number and do that, or uh, you can't give that to us in, in, in a relatively younger fashion. I suggest you just delete the number to say who color it is. But typically, a driveway culvert, unless there's some real stream or something like that, is 18 inch. Yeah, and I think it was under Airport Drive. The 21 inch, 21 yeah. inches under the Airport Road, yeah. and I had a concern about whether that was adequate. The flow, and right. so we had a discussion about yes, that. Yes, I remember that now. Yeah. Um, and then the only other comment I had was um, in stormwater management. Um, uh, I can't remember; it's been long enough since I wrote the other thing. I don't remember what it was. Uh, oh, the, the fact that stormwater management. I want. I want to insert that stormwater management plan includes a new storm drain. It wasn't clear in, in the text here, but they're actually got new storm drains, which which is an important consideration because now what they're doing with catch basins and storm drains, they're literally um, removing a lot of the stormwater and redirecting it. So I just wanted to be clear that we have that the, the stormwater management plan included those catch basins, four new catch basins to collect the runoff from the main office building and the northern half, the northern half of the um, uh, parking lot. And you got those comments from me, did you not? Um, I believe I did, but if I could steal that, I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also um, did not approve the August 6 minutes on the 20th. That's correct. That's correct. Um, well, but I, I don't know if I ever got any corrections on those. Well, because I wasn't at that meeting, you were, Carl. You said you were going to read those. And I don't remember if I did. <laughs> Can we wait and do it next week? Could I ask you to, to review it and, yes. and do it by email? Yes, I will. So I, that we don't get surprised at the next meeting? Yes, <laughs> I will. Thank you. Uh, you or whoever else was here. Josh was here, you were here. Uh, but, yep. I, I, you know, the no, only thing I can tell you that's right. wrong with the minutes is I was not here and you had me cheering the meeting. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did take that out. So that's the only edit I'm out. <laughs> only you, know, out. you know why this happens? For some reason, your emails are going into my junk email. Oh, and I don't know why. So oh, I'm yeah. not getting them. And once oh, I have them look in my junk email, I'm going to have to ask my IT guy to make sure that somehow that they get yeah. redirected into that's my nice. inbox. We'll I didn't go, even know because we have junk. You can do it yourself. I know, but we have fo we have. I, there's two boxes that I always look in. One's called focused and one calls other, and I always just thought that was it. And all of a sudden I realized there was a junk. Uh, and I'm like, what goes in there? And I started looking and I was like, yeah. <laughs> all, I was all kinds of, of emails that I should have been <laughs> yeah. getting. So I, I had the same thing. I have a spam folder and I, I this just never happened. At it and they just I switched, realized they just switched yeah. us to a different and this that's yeah. when it started happening. So anyway. I'll talk to IT. You're on the wrong list. Yeah. <laughs> and then it won't let me open any attachments that are in that folder. It's, oh, you know, they that's block terrible. everything. So anyway, yeah. Okay. Um, does the board? Uh, so we we will we, we'll de uh, de delay the um, defer that um, uh, those minutes to the next meeting. But we'll do these. Yeah. But these here uh, we can do. Um, uh, so I'd like to move uh, the edits that I provided. I think I copied everybody on my edits. You did. 
Yeah, um, I made a couple of comments, but I don't even remember what they are. So I didn't actually edit. I just had these little comment I, things. I, and, and that, unfortunately, they're on my computer, but I can't remember. <laughs> you know, you sent them out to everybody? Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember them. But I, I yeah, I don't remember. You made yours. You made yours before I made mine, so I think my comments were intended to address. Okay, okay, then that's I, I fine. Believe you, yeah. I, I believe that's what my thought was. Okay, all right. Um, and to the extent that they didn't address it, just comments stand for what they were. Yeah, you know. I mean, they were, they were, you know, they were pretty minor, I think, so. And this, unfortunately, so much in that file, it would take me a half hour to find that out. Yeah, but yeah. so it's okay. It's, we can just move to approve with the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so we have a motion to approve the edits as provided by myself and Polly. Um, uh, second. Uh, discussion? All those in favor of that motion? Aye. Please by saying aye. 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 Uh, opposed? And we have approved the minutes of August 20th. So where was it? Doesn't yeah. say on here. <laughs> August 20th. Yeah. Okay. And um, so, does does the board feel they need to go into a little session on the application tonight? Um, Is there anything we need to deliberate? Maybe. Okay, um, uh, I'll accept a motion to go into a little session. I move that we go to. Okay. Second. A motion been made. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we are in deliberate session at uh, thirty-two minutes after the seven o'clock. And. We'll turn off all recording instruments.